Flaps are very useful when used correctly. But how do you use them correctly? Extending the flaps will add more curvature and create more surface for a plane's wings. These two factors will add more lift to the wings, which makes it possible for the plane to stay in the air at low speeds. On planes with jet engines, flaps are sometimes also purposely meant to create more drag, so the engines are running faster than actually necessary on approach. This is so when the pilot decides to go around, the engines will be providing all their power within just a few seconds, rather than maybe 10 or even more. But because the flaps add drag in extended position, they are generally only used for takeoff, approach and landing. Some small planes like the Cessna 172 actually don't even need them to take off. But for most other planes, a simple rule to handle to avoid calculations is use flap setting 1 and 2 on takeoff. You can experiment on your own which works better in what conditions. When you're on a short runway or there's not many headwinds, you might want to use flap setting 2, especially on bigger planes. On long runways, setting 1 will do. On approach it gets more difficult. If your plane has lots of flap settings, like many Boeing planes for example, you might not need full flaps on landing. The second to last setting might work in many conditions, but then again for short runways, or when you're using lower approach speeds, using the full flap setting probably won't harm. If the plane has just a few settings, like many Airbus planes and many smaller planes for example, the highest flap setting is often required. Of course there are exceptions to this, but in flight gear they can just be used as guidelines. These rules should be accurate enough to fly you home safe in 2013 and later.